We begin tonight with a developing disaster in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where the entire population of 80,000 is on the run from a city on fire. The whole place is being evacuated after a dramatic shift in the wind sent an out-of-control wildfire inside city limits. There was fear and gridlock on the only highway out of town as the towering wall of flames moved closer. It happened so fast, people were told to leave immediately. Late reports say many buildings are burning, whole neighborhoods have been destroyed, even the downtown core is on fire. CTV's Brianna Karsten Smith is on the edge of Fort McMurray and joins us now with the latest. Brianna, people on the move, what have you seen in this scramble to get out? Well, there are just thousands of people right now on the highway headed south on uh, Highway 63. It's the main highway here in Fort McMurray. Uh, they've been heading both north and south, but it seems as though officials have turned them strictly south uh, to get out of this area uh, completely. Uh, it's quite an orderly evacuation from what we've been seeing over the last few hours. RCMP are sort of on each end of these uh, lineups and ordering people to keep moving. Uh, people are cooperating for the most part. We have seen people stop to take photos, stop and sort of look at the the devastation that is around here but for the most part people are cooperating listening to RCMP officers uh, we have seen people really drop everything pack up their belongings pack up their houses and get into their cars and leave uh, we've seen several areas uh, over the last few hours where people uh, really leave with almost nothing and, and get in their cars and leave in this orderly fashion listening to RCMP uh, and understanding that they are in danger and that they are going to a safer spot and as they leave they don't know whether their homes are actually going to be safe through all this. That's right. We are seeing a uh, very, very thick black cloud. We're still seeing fires uh, throughout as we drive out of the city. It was too dangerous uh, where we were just a few hours ago, so we had to evacuate as well. And as we've been joining this long line of traffic, uh, we've seen small fires throughout. Uh, it looks like a large portion of Fort McMurray has been destroyed. Se certainly several structures. Uh, where the area that we were in earlier today, uh, we were a block, a block and a half away from flames uh, as we were standing by houses. So we we know for sure that that neighborhood is destroyed, as are several others. Now, the day started out uh, a lot more calmly, and then it just seemed to change dramatically. Absolutely. This morning we heard from fire officials that they were expecting worse conditions today than they got yesterday, but no one expected that it would be this bad. And about 1.30 we were seeing blue skies and then all of a sudden these thick black plumes of smoke, smoke started to come in uh, and we saw it just cover the entire city uh, and just keep going. And we've seen those flames continue throughout the day. Uh, a very quick, quick fire that spread and continues to burn at this hour. The people are leaving right now and that we are seeing uh, certainly a lot of people uh, certainly driving by these fires that they continue to burn on the side of the highway, including a hotel that they've just sort of uh, left to burn because there's nothing around it to continue to spark other fires. So uh, people are definitely trying to get out at this hour. CTV's Brianna Karsten-Smith in a uh, Fort McMurray in flames tonight. Thank you very much.